The phenomenon where poor children of school going age are found roaming the streets during school hours continues to increase at a steady rate, thereby drawing attention to the increasing number of children who are unable to have access to the right to education, safety, quality health, among others. It is quite alarming to watch these children around these uh, uh, areas. The issue relating to the social protection issue, you see, it's, it's a commitment that is made, and those commi commitments are, they are, they are, they are unconditional. It raises a whole lot of issues as to whether indeed government is even aware of what is happening or whether they are ready to take steps. That's why we are bringing this to the fore, so that at least uh, government, if government is asleep, we wake up to attend to this particular uh, 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 issue that is happening to our children. So the Foreign Affairs Ministry must also come in. Interior must also be part of it. And then also gender, children, and social protection must also collaborate to see how best they can deal with this issue. Because it's an entitlement on, on us as a, as a nation. But we realize that some of them were coming from Mali, uh, some also coming from Algeria, and then this war torn uh, uh, countries. One of the things the state must do is to also recognize them as part of uh, 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 citizens of Ghana. If we feel that our social safety net is not so strong, then the alternative is that we have to let uh, them go back to their various countries. Even if it is one child, we think that attention must be given to that child. It's, it's a right. A right of children is not up to them to decide whether they want to enjoy it or not. It's, it's something that must be given. Once the law provides that they have a right to education, that is what we have to give them. It's about what they deserve. Yes, he said, uh,